Hey guys, it's Josh here and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the Eve button. The Eve button gives you a tactile way to control scenes and accessories in your smart home. This can be handy, for example, if you need to quietly turn a night light on without asking Siri, or if you haven't got your phone nearby, you could use it to set a cinema scene. You could even use it as a doorbell, or you could use it as a way to switch off all the lights and accessories in your home with a simple press of a button. First up, we'll have a quick look at what's in the box, then I'll show you how to add the accessory to your home and set a few simple scenes. And I'll even show you a way that you can double the amount of functions you can get from the button. So let's get to it. So here we have the Eve button. If you have any other Eve products, you will notice the packaging is very familiar. The front has an image of the button and the rear has some information about the features. The Eve button can be used to set scenes to control multiple HomeKit accessories. It has instant control and you can activate up to three scenes, featuring easy setup with no bridge required. Tactile control allows you to silently control your smart home and is compact and portable with a user replaceable battery. Inside the box, we have the HomeKit code for setup, along with some brief instructions to get started. Then we have some other general paperwork. And next, we have some sheets of coloured sticker labels that you can apply to your Eve button depending on what you program it for. This can be handy if you have multiple Eve buttons, so you or anyone in your home knows what the button is programmed for. And here we have the Eve button itself. It's made of plastic front and rear and with a nice aluminium frame around the outside. Also supplied are four sticky rubber feet you can apply to the bottom of the button to protect anything you set it down on. The front is simply a big button and the rear has access to replace the battery along with a home kit code for setup. And that's what's inside the box of the Eve button. Now let's have a look at how to set it up. To add the button to your home, first open the home app and then up the top right, select the plus icon. Then choose add accessory and scan the home kit code on the back of the Eve button. From here, the home app will connect to the device and add it to your home. Once the button is added to your home, you'll be given the option to choose what location the button will reside in. From here, I chose bedroom. And then you were given the option to give the button a name. This is handy if you have multiple buttons in the home. You can see here I'm prompted about an update available. So select that and then it will open the Eve app to then update the firmware for the Eve button. Nothing popped up straight away for me. So I went to settings, then accessories and refresh the page. After a second or two, I was given the option to update the firmware. I chose update firmware, read the brief instructions about what is included in the update and then chose to update the firmware. I'll speed this up to save a little bit of time. Once the update was complete, I chose done and then went back to the home app to configure the button. In the home app, choose the room that the button is in and then press the Eve button tile to open up the settings. Select add next to the function that you want to program and then choose the scene that you want for each button press. For example here, I've chose bed off for single press and now I'm programming the double press with bedroom daylight. Then for the long press, I choose my bedroom nightlight scene. Now that the Eve button is programmed, let's test our scenes. So here you can see I have bedroom off. I'll double press the button and you can see bedroom daylight comes on. Then if I press and hold for a long press, it activates the bedroom nightlight scene. And then if I single press the button, you can see it goes to the bed off scene. And that's the basic programming for the Eve button. Now I'll show you a slightly more advanced way where you can double the amount of functions you get out of the Eve button. So let's have a look at that. So here we are in the home app and I've selected the bedroom because that's where my Eve button is. First up, I'll show you how this works and then I'll show you how to program it. So at the moment, the bedroom lights are off. If I single tap, you'll notice the bedroom lights come on. Now if I single tap again, the bedroom lights will go off. 
This way I've only used one of the button actions to control two separate scenes. The secret to doing this is converting the action to a shortcut, so I'll show you how I've done that. I'll open the E button and then on a single press, open that, then shortcut. The shortcut I've used is a simple IF script. So what happens is on a single press of the button, it will look to see if the bedroom light is off. And if the bedroom light is off, it will then set bedroom daylight scene. Otherwise, if the bedroom is on, set bed off. This way I can control two separate scenes with the one press of the button. I'll now show you how I set this up by using the double press as an example. I'll delete the action I have there set at the moment, and then I'll add a new one. Scroll right to the bottom, and choose convert to shortcut. Tap the plus and we need to add the if function. Now for this example, what I'm going to do is have control over my eve energy by using the double press on the eve button. So if my eve energy is on, I want to set eve energy to off. And then I'll add an extra control of my home. Just hold and drag to put it in line there. So if Eve Energy is on, set Eve Energy off. But if Eve Energy is off, I now want to set Eve Energy on. Tap it to set it to turn on. Unfortunately it doesn't say on or off here, but we just have to remember what we set it for. I'll go next, then choose done. And now under double press, we have control of the Eve energy. So I'll close that. And now my Eve energy is in my office. So I'll go to the office. At the moment, Eve energy is off. So if I double press, Eve energy comes on. And now if I double press, Eve energy is off. So now effectively I've got four scene controls with the Eve button, but I'm only using the single press and the double press. I now can go back to the bedroom, choose the Eve button, and I can do the same again for the long press. So it's up to you how you want to program it, but using shortcuts is how you effectively double the amount of functions you can get out of the Eve button. I hope you found this video about the Eve button helpful. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.